Good day. So today I'm going to talk about uh, how I base up my 18mm AB Napoleonics, the Dutch guys. Uh, but you can use this for any any army really. Uh, so to start off with, I'm going to, there's four guys here, so there's going to be eight guys on this base. But these four are all going to go on this half of the base. So out of these four, what I'm going to do is select the best two to go in the front rank. Uh, and then the other two will end up in the rear rank. So these are the guys I've selected for the front rank. Um, and what we're going to do is just take them off this base. You'll notice there's a couple of them are flank company guys and two of them are normal. And that's because I'm just putting the flank companies on the same base and just putting them at the outer edges. So I'll do another base exactly the same but with the flank company on the opposite side of the base if you get me. So, take them off, super glue, just a blob on there, and then a rough guesstimation of where you want him on the MDF. Oh, I'm quite happy with him about there. And I'll carry on, I'll glue all the other four to the base. So with them all glued to the base, uh, what you're aiming for is this gap at this edge, where the extreme edge is, is about half the gap in the middle. Because remember when another base butts up to it, you want that gap to be the same as that gap. So that's your first thing. So next up, we're going to put some ready-made uh, fillet or spackle on these. Uh, we're going to do that before we glue the rear rank on. So I use ready mixed pre-made filler or pre-mixed. You can mix your own if you like, however you want to do it. Uh, and what we're going to try and do is just get it along this front edge to start off with. Which is a bit messy. So get it all along that front edge. Uh, and then I made up this little tool. Um, just a bit of plastic and what you do with that is you can just push that filler back through that gap like that using a little you know just make a self-made little tool or a bit of plastic or whatever a bit of wood a bit of a stick cocktail stick something like that not cocktail coffee stirrer something like that and do that now i am going to be using luke's aps on these um but the reason I'm putting the spackle or filler on first is because I just don't like when you can see that part of the base, that metal rim. And these are quite thick on these. So even after I've put glue on there, that will uh, that will show up. So that's why I'm putting filler on. Uh, you don't have to put this filler on. You could skip this stage altogether. But I just don't like seeing them edges, and you always tend to see them even after you've put the glue and stuff on. So, next thing to do is we're going to put a line of filler along the back now. Um, and we're just going to basically spodge that on here. Like this. Spodgy, spodgy. Ooh, a bit too much. I'll take it off. Right, we're just going to tie that up. Then using my little homemade tool. See, I've got some of these trousers. We'll get that off with a damp brush in a minute, or a wet brush. You see what I'm doing? So we're just basically just hiding that metal edge of that base again, because we don't want that to be seen. Um, the rest of it's on so I'm just going to tie this up because it's easier to do off camera you don't have to be too neat with this filler because obviously we, as I say we're going to put the Luke's APS stuff all over it so now again carry on as before blob of glue just pop him in where you want him roughly about there and carry on glue all the rest of them in so that's all of them glued to the base now. We're just gonna give that a couple of seconds to dry. 
and then we'll put the filler on the back. So we're just going to blob a bit more filler um, around these edges. Like this, on there, blobby on there, blobby on there. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be naughty. Blobby there. And we'll put a bit more on that other edge in a second. And then we get our little made up tool spatula thingy and just push that through the center like that. And just fill that gap. Again, remember, all we're trying to do, oh, I've just got my fingers on my uh, All we're trying to do here is hide the shape of these metal edges so it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to disguise them metal bases. That's all we're doing. So don't worry about getting it perfect. Any shape or form. Just covering. See it? That'll do. And then we're just going to leave that to dry. Uh, and we're just going to paint some brown over that. So yeah, I just wanted to point out uh, very quickly uh, the reason I half fill the bases before gluing the rear rank on is because once that rear rank's glued on, it's really tricky to get inside there. Even with if you make up a really thin spatula, you end up getting filler all over the figures. And if you do it this way, you can avoid doing that. So that's why I glue them down half at a time. So I've painted up the bases. I've done them in uh, Vallejo flat brown. Uh, you could use any brown really. I'd probably advise to get a cheaper brown than using Vallejo paints. Um, and the, the color of the base all depends on what you, you know, you're know you putting on top of it. You could just dry brush these up at this stage, put some flock on, some tufts, done. But I'm using Luke's APS because I like the effect it gives with all the gravel and stuff. So we're just gonna pile this glue all over the base like this um, getting it in all the nooks and crannies so I'm going to cover the whole base so, so I'm going to be using uh, Luke's APS ready basin or Geek Gaming I should say Geek Gaming ready basin stuff and for this one I'm using Scrublands um, and I'm going to lift the camera up here a bit I've given it a good shake but I'm going to try and do this so you can see what I'm doing. So I'll put them in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick out those little bits of foam flock. So I'm gonna pick them out and just sprinkle some of them on first to give the base a bit of greenery. Then I'm gonna pick out some of the larger stones, hopefully, and just sprinkle them about. Uh, and the reason for doing this is because if you do it the other way, just put it on, you, you tend not to get the green that you want. So it's easier to do with both hands, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah. And then just sprinkle the rest of the basic material all over. And then just give it a shake. tripod back down so as you can see uh, the stones and stuff have actually stuck on there now and that's because I sprinkled them on first um, and I'm just got to leave that to dry uh, if you was going to apply tufts and things now would be the time but I quite like the look of this just with the, the little bits of green foam and whatnot when it dries I'll just blow it off and that'll look even better so I'm going to crack on and do the rest of them. All the basin done. The very final thing to do is get some a dark brown. Well, you can use any color you like. You can use black or whatever. But I'm using flat brown. Uh, and then just paint all your edges. I've already done these off camera because I completely forgot. Um, that was going <laughs> to show you. But that's it. Just paint all the edges. And that gives you a nice little little frame 
so each little base is its own little vignette. Now I think these might be a bit dark uh, with this Luke's APS base and stuff on. So I've ordered some spring tufts, uh, spring static flock that I will probably put on, but you could, you know, quite easily leave it at this if you wanted. Uh, so I'll put some stills on up at, on the end. Um, so with this basin, as I say, you could skip the filler part altogether and just apply your glue and your, uh, your Geek Gaming ready base or whatever other ready base stuff you're using. Um, and, and just put that straight on. Uh, what I like about this Geek Gaming stuff is if inevitably, obviously, this some of this stuff will start to fall off. It's just inevitable. It happens all the time with every sort of basin that you put on. Uh, so it's really easy to fix. You just put a dob of glue on there, sprinkle some of the ready basin stuff on, and that will completely cover the... Uh, that will completely cover, the, you know, where it's where it's coming off. And also, because I've painted brown underneath, it won't tend to show through so much anyway, so you should be fine. Uh, so I did the hussars as well. So they're all done. Again, I think it's just a little bit dark, so I'm just going to get some spring tufts and put them on there. And there's like a, a bit of a weird stone ridge there, so I'll hide that with some flock. I might put a couple of flowers on here and there, but not a lot. Excuse me. Uh, so that's it. So that's how I base these 80 mil Dutch. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's helpful if someone picked up a couple of tips, maybe. Uh, I mean, when I watch all your guys' videos, I'm always picking stuff up. So it's always very helpful. Uh, and I will catch it all in the next one. Stills at the end. Bye for now.